Hi, this is Chris Gould, and this Show Me How video is on Blogger and how you can choose a different look by finding a third-party template and installing it. You download that template to your computer, then upload it to your blog, and then you might need to tweak it. I'll show you what I mean. Here's the blog we're going to be working with. This is the one that is Odie's blog. Odie is our little mini poodle, and he has several posts. The only, he's using a standard blogger template with the addition of this photo in the header and there's a few uh, gadgets over on the right hand sidebar. You may have noticed that the choice of templates in blogger itself, the automatic ones, are pretty limited. So, But there are third parties. There are other places where you can get templates. Let's just Google. I want something that's travel related so I'll say blogger template travel. We're just Googling for this. This looks like a good possibility, travel blogger templates. And here are the free templates on this particular site, B templates, that are related to travel. You can scroll through and if you see one you like, you can try it. You can also keep searching for other things. Let's say you don't care about it being travel related. You just really want something that's orange. So here are all the templates that have orange as a, as a primary color. You can spend a lot of time looking through all the different templates, but I already tried one here, so that's what I'm going to show you and that's this one called Traveling Logbook. So click on it and then you should see a button for download. You save that to your computer and I have a place for it in my download bloggers template and it, it, it just takes a second literally to download that. They're small files and then you want to open the folder so you see it because what gets downloaded is a zip file. You need to unzip it. So right click and extract all. It wants to know where you're going to extract it to. Just accept the default traveling logbook. Now here is the unzipped folder. Notice that there's a readme. You might want to read some instructions, but here is the actual template. It ends in XML. Just remember that. The next step is to go to your blogger account and this is the blog and we want to change the layout. Now pick a new template that just gives you the built-in old tired templates that come with Blogger. The way you upload the one you just got is edit HTML. Now before editing you may want to save a copy of what you have now. I highly recommend this download full template. This is if things get messed up you want to have a copy of what you had before and I would put today's date on it so today is that's how I write out today's date and save and notice it was being saved in the blogger templates so now we're safe even if things get completely messed up we can get our old template back now you want to get the template that you just downloaded from the third party so browse, navigate to where it was, there it is, the XML file. So open that and upload. Yeah, there's an error message. It says, now the new template doesn't include the widgets that I had in the old one. Well, I'm not sure what I had in there, so I want to I want to keep them. Deleting them cannot be undone. If you don't know, if you don't care, deleting them will give you a nice clean start. But I'm going to keep widgets. And our changes have been saved. We can view the blog. All right. So that's it. It's like it's like putting on a whole new set of clothes. You know, we just look different now. All the same text and pictures are there but we have a completely different look. Now they're tweaking. So this photo no longer works with this template. It has all its own photos in. So this is where I referred to the tweaking. We need to get rid of that picture. We need back to my blogger editing, my blogger dashboard. In my case I just closed that other window and now I am back here. 
and this time we want to work with the page element. So that header has a picture in it that no longer works with the template. So header, edit, remove image, and save. View the blog. And now that image is gone, and this template works a lot better with without it. Now, what if you mess this up completely? Go back to your blogger.com main dashboard. Go into your layout, edit HTML, and go get your old template back and repeat the process. So there it is. I upload it, view blog, and now I'm back to the way it was. Minus that picture, because I changed that out of the actual element. So now you'll have to edit your page elements and get that picture back if you want. And that is Blogger using a third-party template. You can find one. There's hundreds of them out there, maybe even thousands. Download it to your computer, upload it to your blog, and then tweak it. In the next video, we will continue tweaking this same template. You'll see how to edit the HTML and customize that menu.